I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Please click on the subscribe button for the Azure Academy. It helps us to keep making videos free for you and give us some comments on things that you're interested in so we can make the content that you want. We've got a great announcement for you this week. The Azure Bastion service has become uh, available in preview. So let's go over to the Azure blog. Okay, so the most recent uh, updates here are under volume 87 if you're keeping score. And we'll just slide down the page here real quick and announcing the preview of Microsoft Azure Bastion. So Bastion, just the word itself, means a fortification or a safe place. And what we're doing here is we're using this new service in Azure as a way to enable the jump box scenario without the exposure of that system to the internet directly. So in the past, when we've had jump boxes, what we've had to do is create some kind of public IP address and then attach that either to that system directly or through a load balancer or across the Azure firewall or something like that. And then we have that then exposed on certain endpoints. And we've tried to secure that uh, with different methods, you know, uh, doing NAT translation or just-in-time VM access. And now we have the Bastion service, which is going to do a secure layer in front of that so that the IP does not need to be associated with that box directly. So the reason why we're looking at the blog here is if you scroll down, there's of course some highlights and you have a, a quick one minute video of what Bastion is about. The thing in particular that we're looking for is this link that's right here in the middle of the page and we click on that link and that takes us over to the Bastion product page. And on this page, down near the bottom, again, a bunch of information about the service is how we get started. So there is a step-by-step -step guide. So we'll be looking at some of the docs, how to connect our systems with RDP or SSH. And so right here at the bottom, how do I participate in this preview? So we need to use a special preview portal because this feature is not available in the normal Azure portal today. So that's where your link is. And I'll link this in the video description down below. The, the link is aka.ms forward slash bastion host. And this is a link to the docs, which again, I will have linked in the video description. So if we close these tabs, here are the preview docs. So anything in this service may change as we go towards GA, but uh, at this point we are looking for a lot of feedback. So please give me some comments below and I'll make sure that we get that routed to our product group so that we can get that feedback uh, to them and improve this product. So there are a few regions where this service is available during the preview. So we'll be using the East US four hours and then we have to run these commands in order to register the service now you can do this yourself through PowerShell through the Azure Cloud shell or we could hit the try it button here and register the service All right so we're logged into the cloud shell now and we'll hit copy on this first code and we'll paste that in and register okay and now that has been set to registering All right and we can use this command to check on the status of that registration and there we go, we are registered, and that did take uh, about five minutes before that went through for me. Your mileage may vary. Uh, and now we can run our second command, and this is to re-register our virtual network so that it knows about the Bastion service. Okay, and then of course we can run this third command, which will then tell us that we are registered for the service and our virtual network has been registered. So we are ready to create our host. And again, we need this special preview portal link, which will be linked in the video description. And you can walk through the docs here for all of the processes, but we're gonna do it together. So back in the Azure portal, I've got a resource group set up called Bastion. And inside there, I've already created a public IP prefix block already created and I've issued issued a public IP from that. And you can learn more about the public IP prefix up here. And this is the uh, the card section. At, look at our last video on the public IP prefix. And so we've already created our host. Let's hit add at the top. And in the marketplace, we'll type in Bastion. And we want the Bastion preview from Microsoft. And then we'll create. Okay, so we've already got our subscription and resource group selected. We need a name for our Bastion service, and we're going to build that in the East US. Now, I want to uh, build a virtual network for this, and I want to uh, also walk you through this process uh, because this looks a little different than creating virtual networks normally. So we'll hit Create New. 
and we'll give it a name. And now we can fill in the IP address range as well as set uh, some of the uh, subnets that we want to be in that range. So as you can see in this interface, we can create multiple address spaces at once as well as multiple subnets. Now on the Bastion subnet, it is required that it be named Azure Bastion subnet and also that it has a minimum of a slash 27 address space. So make sure you keep those things in mind. So let's hit OK. All right, and then you can see out of all of the different subnets that we have, it has pre-selected for us the Azure Bastion subnet and the others are not supported because they do not match that exact name. Now, when it comes to the public IP address, we could create a new one, but I have a pre-existing IP that I've got from my public IP prefix that I'm going to use. So let's hit next and then let's tag this for my cost center, the application, the service that I'm using, who the owner is, someone who's responsible for it and what the environment is. And of course, you can make up whatever tags suit your environment and let's hit review and create. Yeah, our validation has passed and let's create it. Okay, so our Bastion host has finished and let's hit go to resource. So you can see all of the tags that we have across the top as well as a way to implement a lock. We have, of course, the activity logs, access control, tagging, and then the properties. So you can see what the resource ID is, where it's located, name, subscription, etc. as well as a way to set up diagnostic settings. You can see up here uh, that none of these are configured yet, but you could configure these things automatically with something like an Azure policy that we did in one of our previous videos using a custom Azure policy to deploy log analytics diagnostics, which you can get to in the link up here in the card. And so let's connect to this resource now. So we'll go to our resource group and I've gotten a few things deployed here, a Windows host and a Linux host, and we have our virtual network. So let's click on that real quick. And you can see we've got our double address space and all of our different subnets across everywhere, including our Bastion subnet, which again must be spelled exactly as your Bastion subnet and must be a slash 27 or larger. So let's get connected. So we'll go to our server. Notice that this server has no public IP address, a okay? no public accessibility to the system whatsoever. So we click on our connect button and then we're presented with something new here. So we have RDP, SSH as always, but now with Bastion, we can connect with just a username and a password. Now, if you have a pop-up blocker enabled, you will have to uncheck this box or disable pop-up blockers on the Azure portal site. But let me show you what the error would look like here. So I just put in my username and password and hit connect and because because I have a pop-up blocker, this of course will not work. So I just have to uncheck our box here and hit connect. And in just a few seconds, we are logged into the box. Here we are, full control over this system, and we can do whatever we want. We can click on start, all of our right-click functions work. Uh, here's our task manager. So all of our processes all work as normal, and we have a little itty-bitty tab over here on the side, and this is our clipboard. So this is how we can copy stuff into the system. Here we are in PowerShell, and uh, you might recognize this as code from our Azure Blueprints as code video. I'll have that linked up here in the card as well. So I'm just going to copy this code, and just by doing my Control C, look what happens. It automatically inserts that code into the clipboard. So now I can go to something like PowerShell, and I can do a paste, and then just simply run the command. And in just a few seconds, the system is now ready to go. So maybe that was a script for you to do a download and install of some agents or run some extensions, DSC, anything that you want can now be passed into this host securely. So what if I need to take some stuff out? So let's say I need the, this particular line of text, copy that, and then look at my clipboard. It does show up here in the clipboard and back in my own system, I can do a paste of that information as well. So we can pass things back and forth between uh, the two systems with the clipboard. So this is good for text, but for things like packages or installers, those kind of things, you would have to have those hosted somewhere that you could get to them more securely. They won't pass over the clipboard. All right, so let's log off of this box. Okay, and again, no public IP on the system the entire time. So now let's go over to our Linux box and then we'll hit connect. And for our Bastion, we'll put in our creds. Here we are in an SSH session. And of course you can do whatever commands you want and everything should run as normal. Okay, so let's exit out of here and we get our disconnected message, we'll hit close. All right, so that's the Azure Bastion service in a nutshell, and the last thing I'll cover 
is on some of the preview pricing and that is back in the docs page under Bastion FAQs. You can find this link at the very bottom of the page. So we'll click on that. And this is just preview pricing. I don't know what the final pricing is going to be yet, but we'll see as that rolls towards GA. So currently 0.095 cents per hour to have a Bastion service up and running. And then we have some things on data transfer that you can see here. And again, the service is in public preview. So definitely give me some comments down below of things that you're interested, what you like, what you don't like things that you'd like to see added to the service so that we can get that feedback to the product group and improve the bastion service so i hope you've enjoyed this look at the azure bastion service which is now in preview and it's a way to fully manage your environment securely as a PaaS interface to ssh or rdp to your machines and get to them securely without having to expose a public endpoint to possible attack so if you haven't done it yet please click the subscribe button button and give us a thumbs up if this was a good video and please share this with your friends so that they can benefit from the Azure Academy as well and give us some comments down below on things that you're interested in going forward. Happy learning!